Whoa, we got the moon. The best view on the trail. She's standing right there. You can see her silhouette. With the sun coming up. Three deer right here. Oh, there they go. Hmm, what should we do with you guys? Oh, there's the third one. And there they go. Hey, good morning guys. So we are walking down the trail right now. It's been good to us so far this morning. Our legs are feeling a little bit tired from the effort over the last three days. And one thing that's interesting about the North Carolina Trail past the Smokies is that it's all slanted off to the left. So it's like, it's like that. And I think they do that on purpose for the water or for the erosion piece of it to make sure the water just runs right off of it. But it stays slightly slanted pretty much all the way up until you finally leave North Carolina. Um, just after, it's like after Irwin. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. We're walking downhill into Garen Flow Gap right now. We've got about one point, a uh, mile and a half to get down there. We're going to take a short break, drink some water, uh, eat a little bit of food. And then after that, it'll be about five miles to our final destination of Hot Springs. So it's been good, you had this gorgeous morning as you saw. Um, still is beautiful out here, the sun coming up. It's just a little past 8 a.m. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful cruise into hot springs today, but whoo buddy, are our legs feeling it. All right, y'all, talk to you later. Okay, this is Garen Flow Gap. We just ate a bunch of food and drank some water, and now we've got a 400 foot climb up, and then we'll drop down to the Deer Park Mountain Shelter, and then from that shelter, it's a 300 foot climb, and then we drop the rest of the way to the hot springs. Here we go. Hey guys, just a quick check in, and I want to add a little bit of context. So, this morning when we gave the first update, we were on Bluff Mountain, and that is that one right there. That's the one that we started our 1,000 foot climb up this morning, and we've been working our way downhill ever since. And now we're just on the trail, headed to the Deer Park Mountain Shelter, and it's just been a little roller coastery, but it's nothing too terribly bad. We're on the downhill section right now, and we should be to the shelter here in the next 45 minutes. All right, guys. Whew. This is the Deer Park Mountain Shelter. So we're just stopping in, snack break, water break, and the privy break up there on the hill. There it is. All right, y'all. Hey guys, so just checking in. Well, we are on the downhill descent into Hot Springs. Uh, I think we're about two and a half miles out right now. And the trail is trending downward. It's gonna be pretty cool. Hot Springs is one of the few towns along the Appalachian Trail where the trail actually runs right down the middle of the town. So we're gonna walk along the Appalachian Trail right through Main Street of Hot Springs. That's really nice, and I think we're going to eat at the very first restaurant we come to, which is the Smoky Mountain Diner. It's a decent place. I've eaten there before. I've had the breakfast, which is all right. And we're about to find out about the lunch, but we're very excited. It's nice because as we're walking, our, we're walking down, um, you can start to see more and more towns. I'll kind of turn around here, um, but you can see the river and down below. It's not the best shot, but... Things are starting to appear down below, and you can hear the sounds of cars, which is great, but it can be challenging when you hear the vehicles and you're still a good ways out from town. But we'll just stay mentally strong, 
can be excited. Um, this will be 275 miles that we've done in 18 days, which ends up being about 15 miles per day. So we're really proud of that. Um, and yeah, there's not too much left to say. This journey is coming to a close. All right, y'all. Ooh, it's almost there. You can see the town through the trees. There's the river right over there. Let me walk down a little bit. Yeah, you can see the river. And then there's homes starting to pop up. And I believe that's the main street and the road down there. And we are almost there, y'all. We can catch this time together. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Touch the rock with me. <laughs> Woo! Made it. All right. Good job, baby. Let's go eat some food. Yeah. Smoky Mountain Diner for some food. Let's go. Oh, salad, burger, water, Pepsi. What's that? The Ultimate Club. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Let's get down to business. So we are just cruising through town, which the AT passes right through. There's the symbol there. And this is the main drag of Hot Springs here. So you got the Spring Creek Tavern on the left, like over there, a good uh, restaurant, and up on the right over here, which is where we're going, is the Bluff Mountain Outfitters. So Well is gonna get some new socks there um, for the trip home back to Alaska. But it's a quaint little town. This is usually where a lot of people get stuck for multiple zeros, because it can be a vortex where people like to kick back and relax, but real pretty. We're gonna enjoy our time here. All right, y'all. Bluff Mountain Outfitters. Let's get some socks. front of Dollar General just picked up our travel box to bring everything back to Alaska got our backpacks and what is that strawberry shortcake bar <laughs> he doesn't usually eat a lot of ice cream in Alaska but this is I think a trail special yeah can I zoom in on that this one's not pretty I think this was in the freezer for a long time at the hot springs <laughs> Dollar General <laughs> all right see you guys Hello folks, so we are making our way back to uh, Alaska right now. This is the beginning part. We just got dropped off from Hot Springs to the Asheville Airport where we picked up our rental car. And now we're going to be driving to the Atlanta Airport and then getting on a plane back to Alaska. So that should be fun. And we made a quick pit stop and got something that we can't get up there, which is dun, 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 Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and I don't know if he's watching them, but a shout out to Wes who turned us on to the... Double, double. Yeah, the double double apparently, which is like a Massachusetts thing or like a New New England thing. I think so. The double double, double cream, double sugar. Yeah, I didn't do that today, but we and tried a, it once during the hike. And an iced coffee. I got an iced coffee. An iced coffee. Yeah, and that's uh, something we can only eat after we've been hiking because on in real life it is way too sweet. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot, but um, we try to treat ourselves when we come to the lower forty-eight. So, mm -hmm. so we're gonna try to catch up before. Uh, or we're gonna to try to drink this stuff before our real our uh, real world appetites catch up to us, so we can still enjoy them. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna hit the road. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Look at that! After nine hours of travel, we got our luggage and it was busted up pretty good. But it looks like most everything's in there. Hey guys, so we are back in Alaska after having completed our Appalachian Trail section hike from Springer Mountain to Hot Springs, North Carolina. And we are extremely excited to be back home, but we really enjoyed our trip. Uh, I think we learned a lot about ourselves and obviously got to uh, spend some more time on the trail that we love. And most importantly, we got to spend that time together. So I know I was certainly appreciative of it. Um, and just yeah. looking forward to more adventures. 
Yeah, and just something to say about section hikes. This was our first time doing a, a longer section hike on the Appalachian Trail, or at least for me. Mm -hmm. And um, comparing this to our through hike, I'd have to say I'm a really big fan of section hikes. I think because we had such a limited amount of time that we were out there, even days that were maybe more challenging seemed manageable because we knew we were just there for a certain amount of time. And I, I also felt like um, we enjoyed every day just a little bit more. Um, yeah, and I'll just echo that. Yeah, you certainly value each day when it's you know it's a finite amount of time and you know you're not going the whole distance so it's certainly worth it and I know we're gonna do some section hikes here in the future uh, I know immediately on tap we've got a bunch of hunting and fishing and hiking adventures coming up uh, I think we'll probably only bring the hiking stuff to you on this channel and perhaps do something on a different channel but yeah lots of cool stuff coming up and then potentially an international hike in October mm-hmm I'll tell you more about that later if it if it materializes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll see. And that's all I have. I appreciate you guys following along with us. Um, really appreciate each and every one in the kind comments that you left to us. It was certainly encouraging. We're very grateful for it. Yeah, and we won't leave you hanging for another five years this time around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can trust us now. <laughs> all right. All right, y'all. See ya.